what I pride myself on and what I think Ben does too is that we want to be always accepting of every culture that we visit and respectful of every yeah. culture that we visit. And I think we've been challenged here. Yeah. And it's for us to grow and to become more accepting of the local customs and things here and understand that this is the way they are. But I, I think behind the scenes, I don't agree with a lot of it. After seven years and 30 plus countries, we have landed here, the Maldives, a place known for its luxurious overwater bungalows and emerald waters. But it is here where we have faced our biggest challenge yet, namely strict Sharia law. What most tourists don't see is the villages and cities outside the resorts. They come, they stay, and they fly out. And for the record, there is nothing wrong with that. Frankly, we would love to join them. But we have chose our destiny and are experiencing the Maldives by private boat. A completely different and stark contrast to what most tourists see. Inside the resorts, the Maldives is as liberal as any place in the West. Bikinis, alcohol sales and consumption, unmarried and homosexual sex are all permitted. But outside the resorts, the Maldives is repressive and controlled. And by the way, we have met so many beautiful, wonderful, amazing people in the Maldives. Yeah. The people are wonderful here. It's just like everywhere we go, we meet wonderful, amazing people. We haven't, we haven't personally felt attacked in any way, in any part of any of our experiences in the Maldives. No. I guess we've been low. Yeah, and part of that is because of their religion here, not allowing girls and women to not cover up. And we don't have any problem with the religion, it's just that it's more enforced. So we've never been in a place where you go to an island and you're not allowed to wear a bathing suit on the beach. Um, it's, well, anywhere on that island. It's hot here, by the way, so having to cover up fully is like you sweat bullets. Well, it's 33 degrees and it's 8 o'clock at night. Yeah. We want we want to respect the, the local religion, the local population, and at the same time, it's meant that I've felt less comfortable going to shore, and I've wanted to less go to shore and go swimming and, and be on the beaches because we're not really allowed to be the way we are. I'm Ben, that's Ashley. Together, we did the unimaginable. We sold everything and then set off on a mission to sail around the world. Civilization. See you later. Okay. 28 countries later and over 25,000 nautical miles, we are only halfway around the world. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Subscribe to follow the adventure as we finish this lap. Okay, are we ready team? Are we ready? We are ready. I would say it takes about a lot longer. No idea how much time, but a lot longer to get ready these days. This is your typical village in the Maldives. Neat and tidy streets, concrete buildings, and the occasional set of chairs for men to sit in during the heat of the day. Women always cover their shoulders, knees, and wear a headdress as well. On this particular trip, we were told that Willa should be wearing pants instead of her dress. He's a big boy. <laughs> uh -uh. Seven months old. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, we're going back here? The Maldivians are some of the most welcoming and generous people we have ever come across. His name is Bodhi. Is it him? Okay. What is this? I see this. Yeah, what is it? Is it like a nut? I didn't know it at the time, but this is a rika nut, also known as beetle nut in other countries. It's a stimulant. Locals describe a warm body sensation and euphoria. 
We're going to try this now. Is it good? It's hard. Yeah. Did you chew a long time? No. It's okay. They're very nice. It's like, um, it's smoked. Like it's smoked. <laughs> it sucks the water out of your mouth. Oh, an apple. Used in small quantities, it can be beneficial against tooth decay and digestion. Used successfully, it can cause cancer. I think they like babies here. <laughs> Traveling with children to some of these countries is a whole other experience. They almost always provide instant connection to complete strangers. What happened to Bodhi, Ash? Bodhi's over here. It's the ladies. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> This place is pretty incredible. You see um, people poking around the corners, looking at us. It's so friendly. We've gotten so many gifts, bags, and food. And pretty uh, insane welcome. I don't think we've ever had that before. I'm still chewing the stuff, though. Whoa, that's for you, Willa. You like mangoes. Mangoes are your favorite. Whoa. Say thank say you. Thank you. Can you say thank you? By the way, that was uh, interesting, that uh, nut or whatever it was. I'm going to think twice before asking to give that a try. <laughs> I was having trouble smiling. I was like, my mouth started watering. It was like, Cringeworthy. I'm sure I could get used to it if I did it long enough. Kind of like smoking, I would guess. But what a lovely village. I mean, <laughs> never, never experienced something so friendly with so many gifts and so much intrigue about us. Um, it's definitely a bit of a shocker uh, coming to these smaller villages. And I've always loved coming to smaller cities, smaller villages rather than the big big stuff you get more of a personal interaction you get more of a authentic vibe than when you go to bigger cities so highly recommend this place that was a lot of fun this is one of the most welcoming receptions we've ever had when we visited a small island so we're super i just i'm just super uh, excited to have finally met i don't know what to say <laughs> They have many wives here too, just so you know. It's like very, very common for, I learned this, like I know Muslims can have up to four wives, but it's really common in the Maldives and I was shocked. Also, divorce is quite common here as well. What? So, really? Yes, 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 it's, it's no problem to get divorced. It is not common for women to have multiple men though. I think that's probably highly illegal, I would guess. It's also highly legal to practice anything other than Islam in public. Actually, you have to be a Maldivian. You have to um, be a Muslim. Be a Muslim. Yeah. yeah. We gave up on trying to experience the culture here. Yeah. Um, we gave up on it, and it's the first. I, I'm, I'm struggling with it a little because I wish that I could have shown you more because I think we could have had brought you some yeah. wonderful experiences, and we have had some wonderful experiences here, but we also just weren't in the right place ourselves i think to take two kids to shore and do all these and go through and and abide by the customs here yeah so there's some responsibility on our shoulders here as well um, we could have done better we but. should have done better but we went and we went back to our marina and we took the kids to the beach and we had our boat broke a little bit we forgot to tell you that type part too or yes. yeah anyway we We'll leave it there. We have a lot of updates for you. We will be bringing you lots of updates. We can't wait for the Seychelles. Um, ben will write the passage logs. I think I'll write one too. You'll know which one's mine because it'll be the long rambly <laughs> one. <laughs> I, I categorize it, man. Boat, crew, fishing. <laughs> and mine will be like, oh, la-di-da, la-di-da. <laughs> I think people will really enjoy those too. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know, man. But, um, 
It's definitely my turn to write a little bit, and uh, I look forward to this passage. I think it'll be good. It's going to be a lot more boisterous than the last one. We're expecting some sporty conditions, as Ben has been saying. It's going to be rough for the first day, 24 hours, and I think probably the first three days. Yeah, we're going to have to basically go upwind to get south. And uh, yeah, it's part of it, man. We call it sporty. I like it better than heavy weather. It's much easier to say sporty. Funnily enough, we've met all the cruisers in the Maldives now. They're all right here, and they're all leaving with us. I there's, think there's, there's six, one, there's six a, boats There's here. apparently one more boat somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. shoot. The ma nine minutes ago. We are officially cleared out and ready to go. We have our clearance papers. Nice. That was the other thing. We had to wait on clearance. Uh, you can't just sail away from a country. You have to get official clearance so that the next country accepts you. So it's not like a just, uh, I don't know, you know. Well, you can't just like, if you're not happy with the place, you can't just walk away. Yeah. You have, you you have, have to, to say, like, are we permitted to leave? Yeah, now? we have to get permission to leave. Because and like, the next port always asks where your exits are from the previous country. I think there's three countries where you don't need an exit start. United States, Bahamas, and Canada. Oh, that'd be a long sail. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't know for on entry, but I know yeah. on, you, they don't require them on exit, so they probably don't look for them on entry. Anyways. Yeah, thanks so much for supporting us. We'll talk to you guys so soon, and there's lots to tell. Bye for now. So Ben is off to get our passports. We are free to go. We have all our clearance papers. Our passports are being returned to us now. And tomorrow morning we are setting setting sail in a boisterous conditions to go south. We're gonna head straight south, then we're gonna hang a right. <laughs> and that really is the truth. We're gonna go south until the wind changes a little and then we're gonna hang a right and we're gonna head straight for the Seychelles and we can't wait. We're really excited. Uh, it's been a different, uh, it's been a different adventure here in the Maldives and um, works. We're, uh, we're looking forward to our next adventures. Our agent has been absolutely fantastic. If you ever get a chance to come here, you should definitely work with JLS Yacht Services. He is the bomb and um, his name is Ahmed. We, uh, we've had a great time here and a hard time and not what we expected. Let's just say that. It's definitely not been what we've expected. So we'll catch you on the flip side in the Seychelles. <laughs>